This is the Getting Started with Game Lift series. In this episode, we're going to take a look at what metrics are generated by the fleet and how we can view those in the console. Let's get to it. And welcome back to Getting Started with Game Lift. Uh, I am Derek, and with me is Al. In our last segment, we looked a little bit about scaling policies. And uh, Al, I would like to, to discuss more about how we can use the console to gather metrics that inform our decisions on you know, how many sessions we want to, to scale up or down to using our policies, you know, things like that. Right. Well, we're not going to we're not going to change the scaling policy based on the, just looking at this, but we can certainly get some information about what's going on on our fleet. Mm -hmm. So uh, under the metrics tab here, uh, and we we can actually set this uh, to a different scale, maybe to the last hour. That will set the time. Then we can scale this. So now we can see stuff going on in the fleet a little bit more clearly. This is the one we just started not too long ago. Um, we can actually look at the number of active instances as, and the number of idle instances. So we did request a number of uh, instances, and that's in brown. So this is this is here. Uh, also, uh, we can see the number of available or active game sessions. Uh, so if you add these together, that's obviously the total number of game sessions. Mm -hmm. Activating game sessions is the number of game sessions every minute. And so that'll, that's something you can use a rule-based scaling policy to anticipate um, a spike in new demand uh, to, to, add to, to add to the rule-based scaling rules if you're using those. And also the processes uh, generated by, uh, by the game lift servers, uh, we collect information about those, how many are active, how many activations, how many terminations, whether they're healthy or not. And so we can look at all of these. And of course, the instance performance, we can look at CPU utilization, networking, and these are aggregates of all of the instances over the fleet. So there you go, that's the metrics that we can generate. Uh, we can also generate uh, metrics to CloudWatch, and, uh, and I, we can select the uh, CloudWatch metrics group here, and uh, that uh, gives us the, um, that gives us information we need if we wanted to set an alarm on that, for example. I see. So this is a way that we can gather more data about how our game is being used, uh, which is useful to any developer. So I would like to talk a little, bo a little bit more. You had mentioned in one of our previous videos about uh, uh, software updates and how we can use GameLift to update our software without dropping players. Mm -hmm. uh, I'd like to talk a little bit more about that, but uh, we'll get to that in our next segment. Uh, so stick around and we'll be right back. Thanks for watching. If you liked this series, leave a comment below and hit that like button. Also, make sure to subscribe to the channel to get the latest updates.